Hello everyone and welcome back to Metal Gear Solid. This is part 9 where we defeated Vulcan Raven after a frustrating last episode. Um, I was a bit all over the place and it was very difficult. I had a fun time, obviously, <laughs> getting destroyed cons uh, consistently. But uh, we are now going to push through this door because we were given the level 7 uh, security key. I still have frozen uh, rations, so I'm going to have to figure out how to uh, unfreeze them. I assume once they get out of the frozen area, they will defrost over time. Um, I have also... Um, I do know and am aware that there is a level 7 door by Sniper Wolf. Um, and off screen I went, I'm going to go back there and see if it has anything useful. Um, not worth being shown because it takes so long you have to swap discs to get back there and it is not very rewarding of what's inside there it's just a small amount of ammo and a lot of security cameras um, so I just decided to reload my save and not bother with it so we are gonna go through the level 7 door in this room and proceed with the rest of the game so we're not going to the level 7 door by Sniper Wolf, even though I am aware that it is there. <laughs> so, um, we've got that out of the way. Oh god. I can see it. Okay. We're back, we're back in stupid secret floor stuff. Let's see if maybe equipping the rations will, um... Be equipping the rations will do it. Oh my god. There is a lot of security cameras here. Um, this is why we have chaff grenades. Dude, what? Whoa! Um, whoa! Oh, my rations. They went ding like a microwave. Cool. <laughs> um, I'm so glad I have 18 of these babies because... Talk about defense. Get blown up, please. Alright. Everything deactivated. Let's quickly uh, let's quickly run through. God, I wish that I could um I wish that I could see in um I wish that I could see in first person. As in like run forward, I mean. Um There was a walkway. There was, there was a walkway to the right. Let's, let's try this again, because I want to check the walkway real quick. Let me just quickly... Is this worth my time? Oh my god. Why did I get scared? I've deactivated them all. Alright, quick, run back. I don't know how long they last. Oh, they last not very long! Quick! <laughs> Okay, um, more, more missiles, which is pretty much what we would have gotten by going all the way back to the Sniper Wolf door, so we're going to ignore that, because uh, we're full up on Stinger, and we've got quite a few Nikita missiles, which is good, especially after we wasted uh, so many of them in the fight against um, Raven. Um, I'm not even sure what to start with or what to have equipped here. Maybe we're going to need a few more of these. There's only one way to find out. Dude, oh my god, is this... Are we at Metal Gear? Because this looks exactly like the... It is! This looks exactly like the brief shots that we've been shown earlier in the game. Okay. We're at Metal Gear. This dude is... This boy is huge. All right. Um, probably fitted with a nice, healthy nuclear warhead. Um, more chaff grenades. Uh, there's a camera down there. This music is great. It's like legitimately haunting. Um, all right, there's a little staircase so we can go down here. Get some items. I wonder if we can 
duck. Can we duck out into the water? <gasps> we can. Oh, hang on. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Get up. Uh, what's happening here? My life is blinking. Oh, it was going down really slowly. Um, am I like poisoned? It's 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 a uh, it's icky water. We don't want to we don't want a part of that apparently. Uh, that looks like the way to go. So maybe I just don't want to like I want to explore this area, and it looks like this is we're literally at Metal Gear. So I just want to be be safe. Is it going to be worth going down here? It doesn't. It doesn't look like it. Let me wait till he. Right. Cool. We don't have to. We don't have to deactivate him. Um, okay. I don't think it's entirely worth it. Maybe it's just in case we've like fallen down and we need to climb up the stairs. Oh. All right. Just made it out. So there's just a staircase there that the camera is in front of. So let's climb up the ladder and see where we end up. Snake, it's me. What's wrong? Did you find a good place to hide? Yeah, thanks to the stealth gear. It looks like they've finished getting Metal Gear ready. How do you know that? I overheard them talking. Where are you now? Right in front of Metal Gear, but it's strange. What is? There's nobody here. No guards, nobody patrolling. It's too quiet. Maybe because they're all ready. They said they even input the PAL codes. What should I do? All we can do is use the override system that President Baker told you about. But I've only got one of the three keys. And besides that, like Ocelot said, there's some trick to using the keys. Leave it to me. You got some kind of plan? Well, I'm in the computer room right now. I'm trying to access Baker's private files. Baker's files. Don't you need a password? Of course, but there are ways. Are you a hacker? <laughs> that describes me pretty well. Hacker man! Does it look like you can get in? I don't know yet. I'll give it a try. I'm counting on you. Alright, we're gonna need to remember to call him periodically, I think. Because he's gonna be our man for the answers. Like, alright, this is like, we're right here at Metal Gear and we have I'm just thinking, right? So, where's Meryl? We've still got Meryl to deal with. We've got the Naomi potentially being a spy, not who she should, not who she says she is. Um, Gray Fox, where is he? Cyber Ninja is not here. He basically disappeared after we made him go crazy by being like, "Hey, brother, you're my you're my pal from from Zanzibar." Um, so we have loose ends. We we have not a confirmed body for Liquid Snake, just a destroyed helicopter. So I fully expect a character like Liquid Snake to be around still. Or they saved him for the sequel. I don't know. Um, but we have we have loose ends. We have loose ends. Is it gonna tie? Is it gonna tie everything up? Let's find out. This is fishy. Just like he said, there are not enough people here defending this huge, this huge vehicle. I have a real gut feeling. I don't know, but it seems like the game is telling me I am going to need a lot of chaff grenades. <laughs> um, let me call some people. Let's talk to Nastasha because we never talk to her and I get frequent reminders of talk to Nastasha. Um, let's just chat to some people while we're here, just to see. That's a chaff grenade. It's a special grenade that disperses thin, narrow metallic strips of various lengths and frequency responses. It can confuse electronic equipment. It will be useful against machines which depend upon electronic sensors. Naturally, for it to be effective, you must use it before you are attacked. If you are expecting an attack, spread the chaff beforehand. Okay, so she gives you information about the current item that you have, which is cool. Let's talk to Colonel. Snake, stop that launch. 
Head for the control room in the underground base. The control room is on the third floor of the underground base, isn't it? There's no time. All right, third floor. It looks like we're on the second floor, if this is the control room. Snake, I'm sure that woman calling herself Naomi is some type of spy. And now I'm starting to think that Campbell might be hiding something too. Don't trust him. Yeah, Campbell, Colonel, blah blah, has been so unreliable and weird the whole entire game. Our friend, Mr. Deep Throat, he got nothing for us. He just pops in and out randomly. How's it going? Uh, not bad. I just got past his third security level. He was a pretty careful guy. Do you think you'll break in soon? I never met a system I couldn't bust into. Okay, keep trying. Hacker man, dude. There is so much good dialogue in this game and so much dialogue that I've missed by not even using the codec as well. Like, it's really impressive. Um, and I'm actually very excited to just eventually, when I have time, replay this in my own time and just figure out everything and just like find all of the stuff that either I've missed or like just other ways I can do things because this is such a cool game. It makes me like, it's really cool when I start a series and it makes me excited to play the rest and I've been starting a few of those so far and it's, you can really see and understand why these franchises are so loved and have still gone on for so long, <laughs> you know, because they're fucking good <laughs> and I just missed out because it's taken me so long because I've been too busy playing other games or just replaying games that I love that I grew up with you know so I'm really happy that I can actually um, use YouTube as a way to go through my backlog uh, finally and it keeps me accountable as well like I tend to have a habit of um, starting games that I really like and I'm like these these games are really cool really enjoying myself and then I might just put the game down and play something else and then I never pick the game up again and it's not it's not a fault of the uh, of the game at all it's happened to a few whether it's been older games or modern games so something that's actually been a really positive experience with doing these let's plays for, for YouTube um, oh God, that I that I really like is yeah it keeps me accountable so it actually keeps me playing these games um so i can so i can finish them and, sh and share them with you because um that's like honestly one of one of the best parts to me is like i feel like i have people that i can share this with um which is really nice and kind of like the whole point that i'm doing this is like to play video games and have and sort of foster that feeling that uh you're able to play it or watch it alongside me even though you may get frustrated at my blind playthrough <laughs> and how I'm a bit useless at times but I hope you you see my good intentions of that I just want to have a nice chill time to play video games you know override system that Baker talked about I haven't found it yet have a good time playing some awesome games but snake I found something else what the secret behind the new nuclear weapon just as I thought, the nuclear warhead is designed to be fired from the railgun like a projectile. It doesn't use fuel, so it isn't considered a missile. That way it can get around all sorts of international treaties. Pretty sneaky. Yes, mm. but effective. And that's not even the scariest thing about this weapon. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. It's a stealth weapon. You mean it won't show up on radar? Yeah. The truth is they've been working on a stealth missile since the late 70s. Why weren't they able to develop one until now? Because of the missile rocket propulsion system, it would be picked up by enemy satellites. Oh yeah, that makes sense. But unlike a missile, the railgun doesn't burn any propellant, so it can't be detected by any current ballistic missile detection systems. An invisible nuclear warhead. Totally oh, impossible to intercept. And on top of that, it's got a surface-piercing warhead designed to penetrate hardened underground bases. Yeah, we learned that lesson in the Gulf War. This thing could mean the end of the world. It's the ultimate weapon. And from a political point of view, it avoids the problem of nuclear reduction and nuclear inspections. Colonel, is this true? Are you listening? 
I'm listening. If word of this got out, it could delay the signing of the Star 3 Treaty and cause a huge international incident. Yeah, it would be nasty. The United States would be denounced by the UN. It could even bring the President down. Did you know this, Colonel? I'm sorry. You've changed, Colonel. I this won't guy make any excuses. I don't know who this guy Snake, is. Listen to me. This new nuclear weapon, it's never actually been tested. Only simulated. I'm looking at what year you Metal Gear Solid 1 model. is set in. Yeah, that's Metal why Gear. they were conducting this exercise. They needed to get actual experimental data to back up the simulation. What were the results of the exercise? It looks like it went better than they hoped for, but I can't find the data anywhere on this network. You'd think the data as important as that would be carefully recorded. So Metal Gear Solid is set in 2005? Baker gave me an optical disc with all of the test data. What? Do you still have it? No. Ocelot took it from me. Damn. The terrorists have replaced the dummy warhead with a real warhead. Once they input the detonation codes, they should be ready to launch. So you think they can do it? Well, the dummy warhead was designed to be identical to the real thing, so I think so. Did you find out how to override it yet? Not yet. It must be in a separate file. Right now I'm looking through all of Baker's personal files. We're counting on you. This is this is crazy. This is all of this is is ridiculous right now. Um, so they've been developing it since the 70s, a stealth missile, and now they've finally figured out how to get it to work. So I'm just looking up what year Metal Gear Solid is set in. So Metal Gear Solid is set in two, the year 2005. That's actually super cool to have like I something that I am actually a huge fan of, particularly in the 80s, is the scenario of the future in in the in the vision of the 80s. Like it's so perfect. Like I love seeing like representation of what the 2000s were going to be like in the 80s and 90s. So this is cool. So Metal Gear Solid One 2005. Um, that is cool. Now, oh, we can climb over the other side. Um, this Colonel guy knows so much that has been so useful to us this whole time. And he's like, oh, I knew about it. And for some reason, I couldn't tell you. I hope Snake doesn't consider him a friend anymore after this because he sucks. He straight up sucks. You got anything to say to me, sir? Let's, let's talk more. You got nothing else to say to me. Alright. This is probably not useful then. This guy down here though. This is the most challenge. Oh god. The most challenge I have with... Oh my god, he, he's... Oh god. Oh my god. The mo I thought that I could get away with lying on the floor there. The most... Uh, difficult part of this of this um, camera angle or control scheme is um... oh no I didn't I th is uh, no get up get up get up yeah the most frustrating part is a hundred percent the fact that um, they're just gonna keep coming from this direction. Snake! Did you find it? No. I haven't found out about the override system yet. But I found Baker's ulterior motive. He's just looking to get rich, isn't he? Well, that's part of it. Arms Tech is in much worse financial trouble than I thought. I know they lost their bid to make the next generation fighter jet. That plus the reduction in SDI spending. It looks like there was even some talk of a hostile takeover. Everything was riding on this project, I guess. And it looks like we were paying a lot of bribe money to the DARPA chief. Bribe money, huh? Yeah, and Baker was a big proponent of the nuclear deterrent theory. I see. So anyway, what about the override? Just give me a little bit longer. Okay. Um, yeah, the, the worst part about this, like, can be, like, when you need to kind of look ahead. I just had to run in there because I was still under alert. 
I still haven't even he healed. I wish that I could have just taken that dude out with stealth. Is, is that Ocelot okay, and... I've entered the PAL codes and disengaged the safety device. We can launch any time. There's still no response from Washington. Liquid Snake. It looks like we'll have to show them that we mean business. Liquid Snake's still Can alive. I for Chernerton, Russia? Knew it. No, there's... Be the new target is Lopnor, China. Why, boss? China. I'm sure neither you nor Mr. Golukovich would really like to see a nuclear bomb dropped on your motherland, right? Liquid. But why? There's nothing there. Wrong. It's a nuclear test site. A nuclear test site? If we nuke a major population center, the game's over. But a nuclear explosion at a test site can still be concealed from the public. Meanwhile, Washington will be worried about the retaliatory strike from China. That'll probably mean top secret talks between both countries' leaders. Of course. And in the process, the President will be forced to divulge the existence of a new and highly destabilizing nuclear weapon to the Chinese. What do you think that will do to the U.S.'s reputation? Or the President's? And with the CTBT, that means that China and India... I see. Yes. When the other countries hear about this new weapon, they'll all want to contact us. Washington won't be very happy when we start selling their own system to the highest bidders. Yes, the President will break. He will give in to our demands. Big Boss's DNA and one billion dollars. Billion dollars? That money will be used to cure our genome soldiers as well. I'm also including the Fox Dye vaccine in our demands. Fox Dye. It killed Octopus and the Armstech President. So it's true that it affects older people first. Mantis might not have been affected because he wore a mask. Wolf wasn't infected either. Perhaps due to those tranquilizers she always took. Something to do with the adrenaline level in the blood. Or maybe it's just because this fox dye was still experimental and they haven't worked out all the bugs yet. In any case, have you heard from your friend, Colonel Sergei Golukovich, at the Spetsnaz? He still has doubts about the ability of Metal Gear. He said we can talk after Metal Gear's test launch is successful. Hmm, he's a very prudent man. There's nothing to worry about. The Colonel wants Metal Gear and a new nuclear weapon so bad he can taste it. If Russia wants to regain its position as a military superpower, they need to reinforce their nuclear arsenal. They need a nuclear weapon that can't be intercepted. Metal Gear will allow them to gain first strike capability over the rest of the world. Their regular army is in shambles, and they think they can restore their country's military power with nuclear weapons? Golukovich, he's no warrior. He's a politician. But he's the one who gave us the Hind and most of our other heavy firepower. He's got over a thousand soldiers under his command. If we join forces, we could put up quite a resistance here. Since Mantis died, the genome soldier's brainwashing has started to wear off. I'm worried about the men's morale. An alliance with the Russians would boost that as well. What are you saying? We're not going anywhere. We're going to dig in here. We could still escape. We've got the most powerful weapon ever made, and we're about to ally with Golukovich's forces. Are you going to fight the whole world? And what's wrong with that? We can launch a nuclear warhead at any target on this planet. A nuclear warhead invisible to radar. And on top of that, this base is full of spare nuclear warheads. Once we get the DNA and the money, the world will be ours. What about your promise to Colonel Golukovich? I have no interest in the revival of Mother Russia. You're not thinking of reviving Big Boss's dream. From today, call this place Outer Heaven. Big Boss's dream. But Outer boss, Heaven? You're not worried about the PAL being overridden. If the code is in it again, it'll be deactivated. No need to worry. The DARPA chief and the arms tech president are both dead. Does Snake know how the override system works? You interrogated him, don't you know? He didn't have any keys on him. Good. Then no one can stop Metal Gear now. By the way, what should we do with that woman? Want me to kill her? Let her live. 
She's Campbell's niece, and Snake cares for her. We'll keep her as our ace in the hole. Meryl, she's alive. Here's yeah, gonna have a chat in my codec to reveal my position. I found Baker's top secret files. Great job. How's it going there? How's it heaven? Finished inputting the pal codes. Big Boss's dream. So how do we deactivate them? They want a ransom okay. for Big you Boss's DNA and a billion dollars. It can also be used to input the detonation codes. You see, if you insert the keys when the warhead is active, you deactivate it. And if you insert them when it's inactive, it becomes activated. And you can only use the keys once. Only once, huh? Yeah. You better get started. We don't have much time. But it takes three keys, right? I've only got one of them. Hold on a minute. You see, that's the trick. You already have all three keys. What are you talking about? The card key is made of a shape memory alloy. Shape memory alloy? Yes. Shape shifting key. It's a key. material that changes shape at different temperatures. The key is made out of it. This card key? Yeah. The card key changes shape at different temperatures. Hmm. So this key is actually three keys in one. Clever. Can you see the input terminals in the center of the control room? I see them. Those three laptop terminals are for the emergency input. There should be a symbol on each screen. Each symbol corresponds to a different key. Input the keys in order from left to right. The left one's for the room temperature key. See the symbol? Next to that goes the low temperature key. The one on the right is the high temperature key. Okay, I got it. First I change the shape of the card and then I input them in order, right? That's right. All you do is insert the card keys. After you insert the key into the module, a hard disk reads the information contained on it. Once you've finished with all three terminals, the code input process is complete. But here's the thing. You can only use the key three times. It's an emergency system. It's only meant to be used once. The world is riding on that key, Snake. Who's that? Damn! You're fucking joking me. He fell in the drainage ditch. Snake, this is bulletproof glass. There's no Dude. way in. I'll enjoy watching you die. <laughs> Wonderful, thanks. This is why Snake shouldn't talk on the phone in the middle of Snake. a sneaky operation. Got to get that key. Drop the key into the sewers. I'm still under alert. Oh my god. Um... Changing... Changing, um... Oh my god. It's just gonna be under... Is it, I'm seriously gonna be under permanent alert. My camera angle is so short. Like, I can barely see anything. I'm just gonna use all my rations already. What should I do? Just fucking like aim ahead because I know there's gonna be someone there? This is ridiculous. I, I need this like... I need this game to be third person. It would help if these enemies dropped like... Oh my god, he's coming from behind. It would help if these enemies dropped stuff when they were killed. Oh god. I meant to throw that behind me, but sure. Did that work? Am I still being chased? I think it worked. Alright. I'm using stun grades for stun grenades. Get down. Ooh, I've got evasion up. Can I actually escape? Oh no, using the stun, stun grenade took the alert back. Come on. Come on. No more alert, please. Oh my god, thank god. Alright, so that one guy is gonna go back. 
Jesus, I thought we had to do this whole thing under alert, but it's just because I'm an idiot and I still kept the alert through the cutscene. Okay, we have to go back down the bottom now. Uh, we have to go back down the bottom and get this key because we dropped it. So, room temperature key is the key that we already have. Um, I'm assuming because there's low temperature and high temperature that uh, we have to go into the Vulcan Raven freezer uh, to freeze the key or to change the temperature to the blue one. And then the, the area before that up the lifts, which is like the, um, the boiler, I don't know what it is, the boiler area, the area with all of the literal burning liquid. Um, so that should change it to the warm temperature room. And then those are our three key shapes. But interesting that it is a shape-shifting, a shape-shifting key. Um, it's very, very useful. Um, I guess we are now going into the water to get it though. That's the, that's the only thing. Um, you can't see in the water. Is it just going to be sitting there in the water? Plus our health is... Okay. Um, and we can go... Okay. Um, oh! Okay. Oh! There you go. I can see. And rations, baby. What about thermal? Thermal would probably be better because then I can actually, the, the item actually is picked up as red. Oh! Well there you go. I, I got the key. Nice. Uh, there's nothing down there. Um, I have the key back. Power card key, emergency input or override device. Um, so, let's get up. Glad we got rations out of that. Um, hmm. Does that mean we have to go and change the key, like, first now? We have to change it and then input it left to right? Or do we have to put the card key in, then go change it? Then put the card key in again. Because the two guys are in there with their bulletproof glass or whatever. Um, that's why I'm confused. We've got the key back, but... Um, should we should we go back and change the, the shape of it twice? I'm not sure. They, I, while we're still in this room, I might just go back up and um, we'll, we'll see if they're still in the room or maybe that they've left now that we've gotten the key. Um, I am unsure. All I can do is walk around and experiment and see which way is the right way. Um, maybe I might talk to old mate again and he might be able to let me know what I should do. You found the card key, right? First comes the room temperature key. Put it into the far left terminal in the control room. That key is actually an IC card. Its connector pins and main body are made of a shape memory alloy. It's designed so that unless it's been changed to the correct shape, it won't be recognized by the PAL code input terminal in the control room, and the detonation code won't be entered. Okay. Uh, the way that he words that seems like you have to uh, I have to found now that I found the key I have to do this one first um, and then and then I can go change the shape so maybe I have to go there put the key in go change the shape put the key in then go change the shape and put the key in a final time which uh, which then should finish everything. Disarm it, and then we can all we can all go home. Now I want to kill this guy without setting off an alarm, if possible. 
That's what I would like to do. How, what is, what do you reckon the best way to do this would be? Can I hide? He'll, he'll see me if I'm here. He's gonna see me if I sit here, I think. Oh, can I be a cardboard box while he walks past me? And then he'll walk past me and I'm a cardboard box and he won't suspect a thing. Oh, come on. Mr. Box. Yeah, it is just a box. Leave me alone. Get out of the way. No! You were supposed to just go for a walk. You were supposed to walk right past. God damn it. That is legitimately really frustrating. Where'd he go? Okay, cool. Where did that... where is he? I'm highly concerned. I just want to remove this guy from the equation. Is there anyone... okay, so he's over there. Is he, can he see me from over there? I don't even know. Do you think if I just snipe him... Um, what if I just... What if, what if I just snipe him? It's only him, right? I don't want to risk it. Um, does, how far down? How far down does he come down here? Does he? I'm pretty sure he walks all the way down here. I'm screwed. What if I just shoot him from here? Can I do that? No. I'm, this is awful. I'm just stuck here with this one guy. Alright, we'll just run in here. Like, <laughs> I just want to remove him from this room so I can... Oh, cool. I can at least be free of the alert. So this is actually a new area. So we got cameras everywhere. So I've come to I've come to see that my strengths um, in this game so far is um, nothing. <laughs> I do not have many strengths in this game, um, but we've made it this far. We've made it this far. <laughs> I still haven't really learned how to really be a master of combat. It's just not. It just ain't working for me. Cool. Okay. That takes care of pal code number one. Where did they go? Now pal number two. Freeze liquid, liquid and ocelot just, just left. Oh my god, dude! That's again. This game, this game is already pretty hard with like outdated controls that I have to get used to, but like. On top of that, the game in general is just unfair. <laughs> it's just unfair, dude. Like, it's like, oh yeah, we'll play this cutscene, and then when you're out of the cutscene, the cameras are back to normal again. Now, are we still under alert out here? Oh my god, we're not. But there's gonna be a person out here, isn't there? There he is. Um. Um. Have we finally done it? Does that mean he'll be gone forever? Even though he'll be back when I when I come in here again. All right, we finally removed him. <laughs> but he's he'll he'll be back because they always come back. All right, down the ladder, down the other ladder. 
And let's go back to the Vulcan Raven Freezer. This is like literally terrible back and forth. It's like, uh, I'm not, they're like, here's your room temperature key. Now go back to this area just to change it. Then come all the way back again. And now go all the way back to the, to the warm area and then go all the way back. Like, um, I feel for the sake of episode length and because it is probably going to be boring um, to watch me go completely back and forth and it's not really the most engaging part of the, of the Let's Play, I think it might actually be best if I skip the whole back and forth situation and you can just see me coming back with the key. So let's just film and record the the key type moments and uh, leave leave the boring back and forth stuff to me. Key number two. Why isn't it? Oh, <laughs> it's like, why is it not working? Key number two, cold key. In the slot, I had to stand in that freezer room for so long for it to turn blue, by the way. <laughs> so long. But here we go. Palco number two. Awaiting Palco number three. Wonderful. Okay. Now let's go change there it. goes pal code number two. To the hot one. Next comes pal number three. Warm the key. Warm the key. Now let's quickly leave the room before we get shot to pieces again. Cool. Sure. I mean, you're gonna do it anyway. <laughs> um, Alright, key number three. Snake, it's about Naomi Hunter. Then you should talk to the Colonel. He's looking into it. Turn your monitor off. Okay, it's off. No one else can hear us. Go ahead. Sorry, but I didn't want the Colonel to hear. Okay, so what's up? I've got a good friend in the Pentagon. Yeah? He's the one who told me about it. It looks like the DIA recently developed a new type of assassination weapon. An assassination weapon? Snake, have you ever heard of something called Fox Die? No. Legitimately only Fox just die. before. Liquid and the others were talking about it. Yeah. It's some kind of virus that, that targets specific people. I don't know all the details, but... What are you trying to say? It's too similar. What is? The cause of death. Didn't the arms tech president and the DARPA chief, I mean, decoy octopus, die of something that looked like a heart attack? Yeah. Well, apparently, Fox Die kills its victims by simulating a heart attack. No. You're telling me that Naomi was behind it? Snake, try to remember. Did Naomi give you some kind of injection? The nanomachines. She was in the best position to have done it, but I don't know what her motive was. Does the Colonel know? I'm not sure. But he still hasn't questioned her. Okay, I'll ask him myself. Colonel, what's new with the Naomi situation? I just placed Naomi under arrest. Arrest? She was sending coded messages towards the Alaskan base. I didn't want to believe it, but she must be working with the terrorists. Are you sure? I'm afraid so. She's being interrogated now. What kind of interrogation? Well, I'd like to avoid the rough stuff, but we don't even have any sodium pentothal here. Call me if you find out anything. So it's true, isn't it? Naomi, I can't believe it. That means the Fox Dye vaccine must be around somewhere. Listen, I've got bigger things to worry about. But Snake, you might be infected too, you know. All I can do is leave it up to the Colonel. This is what I was going to mention uh, when I was talking about Fox, when they were talking about Fox Dye, I was going to bring it up. Um, it's weirdly named like it's similar to Fox Hound, Fox Dye. <laughs> like, but. I was gonna say, but it doesn't only affect Foxhound members because Arms Tech President was infected with it and he 
was killed. Oh god. It's shooting at me before I even have control over my character. Do you see how unfair this can be? <laughs> um, that is crazy. I just want to... I stuck the mine detector on to see if uh, the items had come back. And they had, except they didn't appear <laughs> on the mine detector. Um, so I don't know what's real anymore. Um, so fox die is the thing that can simulate a simulate a heart attack. Um, and I have nano machines injected into me, which has uh, been advertising as a good thing, but um, it does not seem like that is the case uh, whatsoever, um, unfortunately. Um, so that is very worrying. Cause she could she could pull that at any any moment, or is it if it triggers like the adrenaline or something? Like if you if you get too overstimulated. Snake just needed to keep cool and calm uh, for the rest of his life then, apparently. Um, yeah, this is crazy. So, sending coded messages. The classic, the classic trader scenario, right? There's no claymores over here. So what we can do is we can disable this turret and go back to the boiler room. Now, um, obviously, I was just going to show cutting in and out of the keys, but I didn't expect there to be a dialogue, um, a dialogue sequence um, between me and Master about Naomi. Um, so very useful that I was quickly able to, able to capture that. And now we can talk about it while I go back and shape this key into a hot piece of uh, hot piece of ass. So um, yeah, it's very interesting. So they're trying to get the vaccine. I think Snake and um, Liquid Snake and um, Ocelot were talking about, as well as you know doing all of this um, this bargaining in terms of uh, Metal Gear nuclear warhead all that stuff um, it seems like super weird to me because the DARPA chief is is dead because they confirmed it um, before uh, Liquid and Ocelot were talking about it that both Arms Tech and DARPA chief are dead anyway um, but then also um, but then also Decoy Octopus died as well <laughs> But Decoy Octopus was the one in the cell. That that part of the exposition and like explanation stuff is still a bit weird to me. It was just it felt like that was their way of having Decoy Octopus in the game. But then Decoy Octopus died. <laughs> um, yeah, all of that was just super weird to me. Um, but we'll see how we go with the rest of the game's explanation. So, so far we have Naomi under interrogation, under arrest. We'll see how that goes with the Colonel, because he's been super weird so far. But at least it seems like he's doing his job, because he's confirmed that um, confirmed that she's uh, a traitor. So we'll have to see how that develops. Um, I've actually made it this far without saving, so I'm going to quickly save. Let's have a what chat to Mei Ling. Let me save, please. I think at this point I'll save to a new block because it's been a while. Alright. Don't give up. Remember Macbeth, Act 5, Scene 3. I pressed X to skip the dialogue again. I'll fight till my bones, till from my bones my flesh be hacked. Give me my armor. Everyone is counting on you, Snake. You've got to do it. Alright, let's 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 heat up this POW key um, and see how long it takes. I don't need to risk my life for that ration. Because I've done it in the past and I kept falling into the lava. I'm just going to sit here until this turns into a hot key. So that's right. Get ready. Get excited because I'm going to skip to the room where I put the key in unless anything major happens in the meantime. Snake, can you hear me? It's Naomi. Naomi? What the hell? Campbell and the others are busy right now. I'm on a different codec. Naomi. Is what the Colonel says true? Yes. But not everything I said was a lie. 
Who are you? I don't know myself. I don't know my real name or even what my parents looked like. I bought all my identification. But my reason for getting into genetics was true. Because you want to know yourself, right? That's right. I want to know where I came from. My, my age, my race, anything. Naomi. I and so I betrayed you to do it. In the 80s, a dirty little orphan. Rhodesia? What's now known as Zimbabwe? Yes. Rhodesia was owned by England until 1965, and there were lots of Indian laborers around. That's probably where I got my skin color from, but I'm not even sure about that. Naomi, you're too worried about the past. Isn't it enough to understand who you are now? Understand who I am now? Why should I? No one else tries to understand me. I was alone for so long, until I met my big brother, and him. Your big brother? Yes. Frank Yeager. What? He was a young soldier, when he picked me up near the Zambezi River. I was half dead from starvation, and he shared his rations with me. Yes. Frank Yeager. The man who you destroyed was my brother and my only family. No. Gray Fox? We survived that hell together, Frank and I. He protected me. He's my one connection. The only connection I have to my past. And now he is a crazy side by you back to America. No. I was in Mozambique when he came. Who is he? You mean Big Boss? Yes. He brought us to this land of freedom, this America. And then he and my brother went back to Africa to continue the war. And that's when it happened. You killed my benefactor and sent my brother home a cripple. Wow. I vowed revenge and joined Foxhound. I knew it was my best chance to meet you and I prayed for the day that I would. God damn. So, were your prayers answered? Not until yes. I activate my nanomachines. I two long years. To kill me? Is that all you cared about? Yes. That's right. Two years. You were all I thought about for two long years. Like some kind of twisted obsession. Do you still hate me? Not exactly. I was partly wrong about you. What about Liquid and the others? <laughs> I'll have my revenge on them, too. Naomi, you didn't kill that doctor, too, did you? The one that used Gray Fox for his genome experiments? Dr. Clark? No. That was my brother. Afterwards, I covered it up and helped him hide out. So that ninja... I mean, Gray Fox... He's come here to kill me? I don't think so. I think he just came here to fight you. I wasn't sure before, but now I think I understand. A final battle with you. That's all he lives for. I'm sure of it. Fox. No. Naomi, tell me something. About Fox Die? Fox Die is a type of retrovirus that targets and kills only specific people. First, it infects the macrophages in the victim's body. Fox dye contains smart enzymes created through protein engineering. They're programmed to respond to specific genetic patterns in the cells. Those enzymes recognize the target's DNA? Right. They respond by becoming active and using the macrophages they begin creating TNF Epsilon. Huh? It's a type of cytokine, a peptide which causes cells to die. The TNF Epsilon is carried along the bloodstream to the heart, where they attach to the TNF receptors in the heart cells. And then, they cause a heart attack? The heart cells suffer a shock and undergo an extreme apoptosis. Then, the victim dies. Apoptosis? You mean the heart cells commit suicide? Naomi. What? You must have programmed that thing to kill me too, right? Do I still have time? Naomi, I don't blame you for wanting me dead, but I can't go yet. 
I still have a job to do. Listen, Snake. I'm not the one who made the decision to use Fox Die. Huh? You weren't? No. You were injected with Fox Die as a part of this operation. I just wanted to let you know that. No, that's not the whole truth. Uh -huh. This whole game has been not the whole the truth. The thing I wanted to tell you was... I Snake, love you. I... Hey, what are you doing? <gasps> ah! Snake! <gasps> Naomi! We were just about to get the truth! Snake, I can't allow Naomi to make any more unauthorized transmissions. What? Naomi's been removed from this operation. What happened to Naomi? What did she mean when she said that Fox Die was a part of this operation? Colonel, let me talk to her. I won't. She's under arrest. Colonel, you double-crossed me. Snake, there's no time for that. There's no time for right that. Now your job is to stop Metal Gear. Okay, Snake? There's no time for the fact that I double-crossed you, Snake. Fox Die was injected as part of the operation. What the goddamn fuck? I'm gonna quickly run through here because I don't want the card to like turn into an ice card again, so we're gonna quickly zoom on through. Um, they also added guards into this room when I ran through last. Um, I had to quickly, quickly speed through. And we're gonna do that again, and then we can go put the card in. So Naomi's like not on our team, but at the same time, she's like kind of on our team. I have no idea what's going on with um with Naomi, dude. So she wanted revenge on us and she's thought about us for two years. So that's like 2003. Is that right? We're still kind of trying to put together the timelines. Oh god, I keep forgetting about this. I forgot about this entire room. Let's not run right in front of turrets. Um, yeah, dude, this is um, this is some crazy stuff that's going on right now. now see, Colonel's, Colonel's always been fishy. But then Naomi's a spy and also under arrest. So it's almost as if they're uh, operating separately, but they both suck. <laughs> but Colonel, Colonel has constantly, he has constantly known so much more than he's let on. That would have uh, helped us, you know, solve and figure this stuff out so much earlier. But he's like, there's no time for that snake. Just uh, keep doing the mission, even though you're now going to die as a part of it. Um, what the the hell? Um, I'm trying to figure figure this all out because it makes no sense to me. I'm kind of hoping that this game sort of gives me the exposition that I need. It's given me a lot of it. Now I just need the the nice bow tie to actually be like, this is what's going on. So Gray Fox, uh, which is uh, Frank Yeager, is Naomi's brother, big boss brought Naomi to America um, Liquid Snake is still alive who is my brother um, I would never have been able to figure any of this stuff out without the help of uh, my master who seems like one of the only guys that I can trust even though he's just like random dude that I haven't met yet. I'm just going to avoid that guard completely and run in here instead of trying to kill him. And then we input the last key. Um, I'm going to save before I put this last key in as well. Snake, Naomi's under arrest. What the hell is happening over there? What's the colonel thinking? Campbell is... I'm sorry, I can't say anymore. But please believe me, I'm here to help you until the end. I'm being kept on such a... I'm being kept on such a cliffhanger constantly, dude. <laughs> please 
Snake, don't give up. I feel like I'm just being used by everyone. <laughs> Where's this deep throat guy when I need him? Help me out here, man. Alright, it's still it's still a warm warm baby. Let's chuck it in. Let's get ready to um let's get ready to chuck this old key, old man in. Slot in this key. Give it to me. Last key. Nuclear bomb disabled. And now Snake dies in a heroic heroic heart attack. Oh, why? What? Detonation code activated. I deactivated it. Have we been just betrayed again? Thank you, Snake. Now the detonation code is completed. Nothing can stop Metal Gear now. Master, what's going on? You found the key, and even activated the warhead for us too. I really must express my gratitude. Sorry to have involved you in that- No! Hey, I trusted you! What are you talking about? You we were the were only one that I felt I could trust! Chief's code. Even with Mantis' psychic powers, he couldn't read his mind. Then Ocelot accidentally killed him during the interrogation. In other words, we weren't able to launch the nuclear device and we were all getting a little worried. Without the threat of a nuclear strike, our demands would never be met. What do you mean? Without the detonation codes, we had to find some other way. That's when we decided you might prove useful, Snake. What? First, I thought we might get the information from you, Snake, so I had Decoy Octopus disguise himself as the DARPA chief. What the Unfortunately, fuck? Unfortunately, Octopus didn't survive the, the encounter, thanks to Fox Die. You mean you had this plan from the beginning, just to get me to input the detonation code? Huh? <laughs> you didn't think you made it this far by yourself, did you? Who the hell are you? In any case, the launch preparations are complete. Once the world glimpses the power of this weapon, the White House will have no choice but to surrender the Fox Dye vaccine to me. Their ace in the hole is useless now. Ace in the hole? The Pentagon's plan to use you was already successful in the torture room. <laughs> Snake, you're the only one who doesn't know. Ah, oh, poor fool. Who are you anyway? I'll tell you everything you want to know. If you come where I am, that is. Where are you? Very close by. Snake, that's not Master Miller. Campbell, you're too late. Master Miller's body was just discovered at his home. What? He's been dead for at least three days. I didn't know because my codec link with Master was cut off. But Mei Ling said his transmission signal was coming from inside the base. So who is it? Snake, you've been talking to me, dear brother. Oh my god. Liquid, how the... You've served your purpose. You may die now. Oh my god! Oh my god, well done, you stupid game. Oh my god. No one is to be trusted. Except Deep Throat. Always trust Deep Throat. Um, and Otacon, I guess. Otacon and Deep Throat, my homies. Mei Ling is my, my lovely save girl, but I don't even know anymore. She could delete all my save data in one final act of fourth wall breaky fuckery. Oh my god! So, this one guy master, snake in disguise. It's like everyone has a different agenda and Snake is literally just like, 
I've got to do this one mission that apparently is a completely different mission, and now it's five other missions, and I've been betrayed every single time. <laughs> and all I wanted to do was save Meryl. Oh my god. Okay. Collect my thoughts. Um, first of all, chaff grenades to destroy the turrets. Second, gas mask, because gas room. Are we ready? Are we ready to get into it? Shall I, um, shall I, shall I focus up again? Alright, let's, let's do this, right? This is... Oh my god, I can't believe that we were tricked into actually activating the thing instead of deactivating the thing. I'm so pissed off. Okay, these aren't even turrets right now. Um... I'm actually going to pop this for full health and then pick this up. They're just being cameras? Can we get out of here? No. Um, shit. What do I have to do here? I gotta keep the gas mask on. Can I blow myself out of the door? No. Um Do I just have to hide from the from the, the cameras? Will that do anything? Um It's stuck on permanent alert. If I disable the cameras, will the alert go away? It doesn't go away. Hmm. I'm gonna start running out of uh, health soon enough. Um. Can I call the people that I trust? Deep throat. Not a con. Nastasha, I don't even know. Snake, that's bulletproof glass. You can't break it with an ordinary weapon. Can't you open the security lock here? I'll try. Just hold on for a minute. I've been holding on. I should have called you right in the beginning. I'm running out of. I'm running out of uh, stuff. Open this door. Oh. Please open the door. Who's calling me? I don't want to talk to anyone right now. I hacked into security. Except you. Snake, I'm opening the door. All right, thank God. But <laughs> we did it. Just as I was about to run out. Get me out of here. All right. Oh my God. Excuse me, Liquid Snake. Um. Do we just run after him? Excuse me, sir. Run after this guy, straight away. Is he? All right, he's right there. Should we just snipe him in the head and be done with it? I have a feeling that he's going to get into Metal Gear. <laughs> I have a feeling that he's going to go, ha ha, time to get the big nuclear machine weapon. And I don't know if this is the end. Because I don't know what's going to come after this, and I don't know if this is going to be some long extravagant thing, and it's currently really late, and I've been recording for a little while. I'm going to actually end this episode here on utter and immense betrayal <laughs> from everyone. Um, absolutely blindsided by this stupid liquid snake, who's uh, for some reason uh, naked. Naked snake. For some reason, he's stupid, sexy, naked snake um, over there punching himself in, in the face. So, as we stare down sexy snake, uh, we are going to take a break and I will come back to this one as soon as I can and get this one finished. Um, 
I don't know, are we defeating Snake? Are we defeating Metal Gear? Let's let's just get it in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching this one, guys, where it's just been a lot of revelations and a lot of explanations to, to stuff. Turns out that we're the real villain all along. We armed the bomb. We're going to destroy the world. Let's, let's find out how we can fix this next time. So thank you so much, guys. I'll see you then.